Hi, welcome to Ask Less. Question comes up several times is can we combine air amplification technology with vortex tube technology? Air amplification basically works by taking compressed air and going through a series of coanda angles. It amplifies airflow by drawing in the air from the outside and converting pressure normally lost as pressure drop and noise into flow. Vortex tube takes compressed air, spins it one way, gets hot, other way gets cold, you get cold air coming out, which can be used for spot cooling. So sometimes a customer will say, well, I want to blow a lot of air, but I want to have the air colder. Can I combine it with a vortex tube? Generally, you cannot. Here's why. First of all, back pressure. If I take the vortex tube and put it in line, say the compressed air supply goes into the vortex tube, and then the cold air is piped directly to power the air amplifier, it just will not work. Vortex tubes and amplifiers are highly subject to back pressure. So for example, if I want to plug that end of that vortex tube, it's going to push the air back out the other side and it will simply not work. So you cannot put it in line with the amplifier, it will simply not work. So what about putting a vortex tube with the cold air coming out behind an air amplifier so that cold air is drawn in from behind? Well, the problem with this is, is that with an air amplifier, you're drawing in a lot of volume. Uh, this particular size may be up to 300 CFM. A vortex tube, let's say you take a 40 CFM vortex tube. Because of the air splitting, you'll get about 30 CFM coming out the cold side. So if that 30 CFM is being drawn in, along with almost 300 more CFM, you're overwhelming that cold air by at least a factor of nine to one. So that cold air mixed with perhaps warmer air from the surroundings is going to overwhelm that cold air. Now, having said that, we have had customers who have tried this and they claim it does make a difference. Uh, perhaps they're using the amplifier to lower pressure, so you're drawing in maybe a lot less air, or using a smaller amplifier and a larger capacity vortex tube, so that volume ratio is not as high as, as the example I gave. So I can't say that it won't work, but I can't really say that it will work all that well. If you want to have colder air blowing onto uh, a product from an air amplifier, your best, your best bet actually is to duct cold air in from a larger area through a connection, through some tubing connected to the air amplifier. So, in general, to combine air amplification technology, vortex tube technology, it's really not the best idea because of back pressure or the volume ratio between the two technologies. If you have any questions concerning the use of compressed air for blow-off, cooling, drying, or moving, ask less.